On April 18, 1988, USS Samuel B. Roberts hit an Iranian mine. President Ronald Reagan initiated Operation Praying Mantis in response, ordering the Navy to destroy two Iranian oil platforms in the Persian Gulf. They must know that we will protect our ships, and if they threaten us, they'll pay a price. Evacuate the platform immediately. I repeat, evacuate immediately. An Iranian patrol boat fired back but was promptly neutralized by the USS Simpson and USS Wainwright. The Iranian Navy also engaged the U.S. in the Strait of Hormuz. Well, we of course had no way of knowing just what their reaction might be. On the other hand, uh, it would not be prudent not to have planned what to do in the event of a reaction. Of course, our ships are prepared and have the necessary guidance to permit them to defend themselves against any ho hostile action. And they took the necessary action very successfully. Operation Praying Mantis lasted approximately nine hours and involved coordination between Navy, surface, and air elements to complete the operation. By the end of the operation, the coalition of surface and air units not only destroyed the two oil rigs, but also Iranian units attempting to counterattack U.S. forces. Once the ceasefire was ordered, half of Iran's operational fleet was sunk or severely damaged. I think all of our people, and by this I'd have to say the people of all the services involved in that that engagement or that series of engagements last Monday, all of them demonstrated a very high level of professionalism, good coordination, good professional confidence. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Jonathan Pankoff.